So good morning and welcome to my presentation today. This will be the last online class of this semester uh, and on this subject, atmospheric science. Today we are going to discuss the chapter of weather forecast system in Bangladesh. Although there was another chapter which has already been discussed in earlier chapter, earlier classes, uh, that the tools, techniques, and uh, satellite meteorology, which can be used in weather forecast system. Now, this, this chapter could be the extension of that earlier chapter. And today we are going to discuss about the some of the organizations that involved in the weather forecast system in Bangladesh. We are, we are trying to see how different ways uh, and what are the responsibilities that that organizations uh, they dis they uh, uh, they normally practice for weather forecasting uh, in in our country, and we'll try to see one of the website which has already been discussed earlier. And today we are going to see more details about the about the um, about the website of Bangladesh Meteorological Department. And later of this chapter, we are, we are trying to see that uh, what would be the, what are the different ways the, the early warning system can be disseminated because this is another important thing uh, for our country. So subject uh, topics of this chapter, under this chapter, we are going to discuss of the weather forecasting system with their related organization in Bangladesh. And we are trying to see weather forecasting system. That means how they disseminate this knowledge. We are particularly see it's a couple of uh, couple of uh, uh, matters in the website how they forecast. And uh, we'll later we, of this chapter we'll see a little bit about the uh, technology. Uh, uh, how, what are the technology that can be available in Bangladesh for weather forecasting system analysis? So first of all, weather forecast uh, uh, in Bangladesh has been solely uh, dependent on um, a particular government organizations, uh, which is named as Bangladesh Meteorological Department. Uh, they, they are the sole responsible organizations who forecast the weather in Bangladesh. There are a couple of other organizations. Uh, they are also involved in this uh, forecasting system in, indirectly. Uh, indirectly because they are not responsible to forecast the weather, rather they are involved in um, assisting those uh, the organizations in different ways. For example, uh, SPARSO, Bangladesh Space Research and Remote Sensing Organizations, one of the government bodies also in uh, uh, under the uh, Defense Ministry, they are also responsible for uh, for different other other purposes, we are going to see that uh, after a couple of slides, and they are also uh, assisting uh, assisting uh, Bangladesh Meteorological Department in many different other ways. Uh, uh, rather than the Sparso, there are other government department, different government de departments. They also helped and uh, during the. Uh, during the uh, dissemination and collection of the information uh, and dissemination of the information through the general mass. Such organizations included as, um, uh, for example, Disaster Management Bureau, Department of Agricultural Extension, uh, Defense, and uh, you know, the couple of institutes, institutes of water and flood management, uh, uh, they are involved in disseminate this information in different ways, and and when these informations are using by the local mass in uh, extreme situations, sometimes they, there are a couple of NGOs. They are very much well uh, implemented this uh, this uh, information to the general mass, such as during the cyclonic events and others. And couple of organizations, couple of NGOs also produce some knowledges, knowledge bases uh, by which the weather and climatic system of Bangladesh can be also analyzed in different angles. Such organizations include CEGIS, uh, one of the organizations they involved with GIS practicing. Uh, that means they use the satellite images for analysis the environmental data sets. 
and some of them can be also used by the uh, BMD. There is another NGO which is named uh, uh, some sorts of NGO type organizations which is named as Institute of Water Modeling. They particularly focus the um, flood conditions and the available water sources under the ground and they model that things what will be the condition of uh, water resources in a particular location. That is also important uh, in many cases for industrial purposes or agricultural practices or maybe sometimes also to find out the uh, flood, uh, flood uh, scenarios uh, in future. Uh, to implement the implement the uh, uh, implement uh, some of the uh, orders during the digester period, a uh, couple of NG, a couple of uh, a couple of uh, other organizations they are also very important. One such organizations is um, Red Crescent Society, uh, from where the thousand of volunteers are involved to uh, to take the people and to make award them so that they can take shelter during the digester period. And at the last, but not at the least, uh, media, uh, they played a significant role uh, uh, during, the, uh, during the most of the uh, digester times, not only digester time, but also every day weather forecast. Uh, so the, the very general mass they can understand. When we'll, we are going to see the website of the Bangladesh Meteorological Department, you will also found that um, you will also found that uh, media, uh, media is a is a is a source where the general mass can depend and they can easily get the information because most of the general mass they are not interested about the uh, about the forecast system how how the, the Bangladesh Meteorological Organization uh, showed in in their websites. So few people are uh, maybe interested about uh, that system, but most of the time people depend on media so media can be also assist uh, is a is a media medias are the assisting body of the weather forecast system in bangladesh we are going to discuss about the few of the issues of the bangladesh meteorological department which was established in long before in uh, at the very first time it was uh, not as a department, it was just a observatory centers or locations in Shatkira in 1867. And then uh, after a long time after there, uh, there was uh, this department has been started with the Pakistan Meteorological Services before the independence in 1947. And after the independence in 1971, this has been named as Bangladesh Meteorological Department. And the department use this BMD uses many, many different technologies that can be used for this weather forecasting system. Uh, they are they have some um, surface and upper air observatories. That means some locations they use some tools and techniques so that they can get uh, everyday data sets, uh, real time data sets, precipitation, sunshine, wind speed, humidity and different others. They get this information through their observatories. They also collect radar and satellite images from different other sources so that they can uh, take the, use this information for forecasting system. They have some agrometeorological observatories from there. They can understand the, uh, the agricultural climatic factors. They have some geomagnetic and seismological observatories. From them, they can know what would be the uh, what would be the conditions after a earthquake or uh, after a vibration uh, what would be the uh, what, would, what would be the scale of that uh, in, in a rectory scale and they also have uh, a very good telecommunication system meteorological telecommunication system uh, so that they can uh, produce these data sets and they can also use those data sets so using those data sets they have uh, they have the sole responsible organization to forecast the weather. First of all, their first responsibilities is to monitor the environment, monitor the weather, and then they forecast it and they create some warnings and they uh, they try to give those warnings to the uh, to the to, to different organizations to the general mass to uh, to reduce the losses. Such important uh, events could be the um, cyclone, thunderstorms, tornadoes hail, 
or maybe sometimes some heat or cold uh, wave. Uh, due, this, is, this is their routine works and routine forecast. Uh, around uh, they can they can give this information on the sometimes in a 24 hours basis sometimes it can be a, 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 some information can also be presented at six hourly basis so on the basis of that they this is their first uh, task uh, to play uh, play as an organization secondly they can also they normally do the issues some short medium and long forecast for uh, the planning of the agriculture and for other daily activities. They have some flood forecasting and um, uh, warning center uh, data sets. Uh, they, they produce this data set and provide these data sets uh, uh, to the center uh, uh, with the rainfall data or some images or the uh, system of the uh, system of the uh, flood forecasting. So different sets of data set they provide it so that they can uh, they can use this uh, the flood forecasting center and they uh, take their decisions in a good uh, in a regular basis. Uh, they also provide the seismological information uh, in and around the country because uh, tsunami advisories and warnings of the government is needed. So such information. And using those information, we can also we can also take uh, quick decisions for uh, for a, a recovery. Uh, besides this, they also provide very useful information to the airlines uh, for the flight uptake and uh, flight uh, uh, flight management. Uh, uh, so they provide some of the uh, information related to humidity, foggy conditions, and temperature and other sources after a regular basis so that, uh, so that the uh, uh, flight can uh, use those information for their uh, landing and takeoff. Besides, besides those, uh, one of the other important um, uh, collaborations that the BMD do with the oil metallurgical organizations by providing them uh, data sets for find out the climate scenario in 21st centuries because uh, world meteorological organizations they are very much interested about to um, about to find out the scenarios in 25 uh, 21st centuries and that is going to be changed uh, depending on the uh, depending on the many 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 uh, activities and decisions so they collect this inf collected collect this information from the BMD and they analyze it and finally they produce these scenarios. Uh, rather than the BMD, there is another important organization in Bangladesh that is named is Bangladesh Research, Space Research and Remote Sensing Organization, SPARSO. They have also some sorts of responsibilities which is related to the weather forecast. But they don't directly forecast the weather to the public. What they do, they collected images and information from different sources throughout the world. Mm, sometimes it is um, they have to pay to these organizations, those organizations, and they collected this information, analyze it, and finally they mm, give this information to the other organizations. What they do, sometimes they supply the general um, satellite images. So if you order them, they will collect it and they will provide you uh, on the basis of a certain amount of the money and certain amount of, it is dependent on the sources uh, where they collect it. <clears throat> they also analyze this technology uh, uh, on the basis of different purposes. Uh, some, uh, some, uh, some, sometimes the government and other organizations, they wanted to know about the agricultural condition of the country. They, perhaps they wanted to know what would be the appropriate areas where we could produce some winter crops, where we can produce some this type of paddies, where we could do that type of things. So they analyze it and they provide this information to the particular organizations. Even some private organizations or some other bodies, they can also collect data from the Esparso um, on the basis of their demand, on the basis of the uh, money they need to provide other organizations. So many of the different uh, uh, different uh, systems you can collect data sets from the Esparso. They also provide the real time data and information to be uh, to 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 the public uh, or for the national interest, so that it can be used for different research and different analysis. And finally, that that can be useful to the country. 
for BMD, sometimes they, and the Esparso can be a very good, uh, uh, good um, collaboration in many cases where, where some scenarios can be developed. So Esparso can also be a good uh, partner for uh, uh, partner for BMD to provide such information for weather and climate forecast. I'm not going to discuss about the other forecasting system because we have already discussed these things in earlier chapters. Now we are going to see some of the uh, information on um, uh, how the BMD that uh, described uh, uh, described uh, in different ways. Let's see uh, some of the information how they describe in their website and the disseminating uh, process. So um, this is the website of Bangladesh Meteorological Department. Um, this is the this is the opening of home of this one. If you see in, in here, there is a map and there is a little description about particular areas. And you have a, we have all these, our divisions in here. If you put your cursor, any of them, you'll get the answers. For example, uh, you are giving this, what would be the condition of the chartogram today? So you can see the, sorry, chartogram, you can see First of all, maximum and minimum temperature, 28.7 degree, 17.2 degree. So you can understand the uh, limitation of the temperature in today. And if you see Rangpur, you can see the minimum is 13.3. So you can understand how cold it that is and 25 degrees centigrade. So you can also see the differences, no? And then there is a condition that what would be the environment? The environment would be the foggy condition. Uh, because of the uh, because of the um, fog and and then sunrises and sunset times also very important information. Uh, in the downward, you can also see some important information in here. Uh, what would be the rainfall? Rainfall is zero. Wind speed is thirteen kilometer per hour. Morning humidity, evening humidity, and also surface surface pressure. And you can see that it is 10, 14. That means this is very general and calm and quiet uh, environment uh, takes places on the surface. So you can understand the information, which uh, very general information from the weather forecasting system. Now the question is, uh, uh, what are the other information that can be also find out from, uh, from these organizations, uh, these websites? If you see the, the left portion, here are many, many important things, forecast, man meteorology, current weather, so many, many different things. For example, I'm going to see the forecast of a uh, weather forecast. Let's see what is there. So weather forecast says us about the total condition of the country in a descriptive way, and they also give some numbers, okay? You see the forecast, and then this is your numbers, okay? Okay, so if you wanted to know this, you have to uh, read this and you make your understanding clear. If you wanted to know some divisional forecast, this is in much details for each of the division. For example, I'm interested about the chartogram, so I can get the information from here. The sky is temporary, partly cloudy. Okay, first of all, when this has been started, it has been started um, commencing our nine, of today, 15, 12, 2020, uh, for 24 hours. So from today, nine to tomorrow, nine morning. So the heard the said for Chattogram, they say temporary, partly cloudy, forecast weather may remain mainly dry over the area. Moderate to thick fog may occur at places over the area during midnight to morning. So we can understand the foggy condition started in the night. And temperature night and day temperature may remain nearly unchanged. That means this is the temperature variation, night and uh, maximum and minimum. So this, these are the main, main information that is provided by the divisional forecast. You can also find out climate outlook. For example, you wanted to know the 
outlook of one one month outlook, three month outlook, or even wanted to see the 2019 winter. Let's see that what is there. Uh, this is 2019. So the description is um, this is a report. On the basis of this report, you can analyze something. There are a couple of graphs from where you can see the information also. For example, this is a um, observed rainfall category year 2019. Okay, what was what was the uh, what was the thing uh, you can find in here? And also, we will get some information. So, if you see these these limitations, uh, you can also find out that uh, where is Bangladesh? Bangladesh is like this, very small. Okay, but you can see the information all over the areas. So um, you, you, know, you might ask me why I am interested about the other areas. Uh, uh, very importantly, you can also, also understand that when we are going to analyze in a certain areas, um, we collect this information in two ways. One is observe information. Another one is we can also collect information from different other sources. Uh, maybe, so this is Bangladesh, very small here. But when you, you try to take the information from online sources, they have the gridings, grid system all over the world. And each of the grade, grid, each of the grade, uh, each of the grid they uh, followed, each of the grid they followed, uh, followed is a very big size, in a big size. And inside your, inside each of your, grid inside each of your grid uh, maybe there are a couple of countries can be involved because the grid size is big yes you can also do the down scaling but the total area can be can be a representation of this grid so that's why it is much more bigger now the question is you can see the changes is very minimum from all over the part or all over the india india and uh, pakistan of this part are similar in nature, okay? Rainfall climatology over the period of 1982 to 1919, South Asia. So very, very common in, in, in most of the areas. Not too much change, unchanged. Only few areas from here, here, and here by the side of the coastal areas, okay? By the side of the coastal areas. So, so from this information, you can also find out the meteorological uh, contribution for a long time period. So weather for climate outlook, this is another things. You can also go other type of information from here and you can find out, for example, you wanted to see the a special weather bulletin, cyclone page, a special weather bulletin. Perhaps we are not interested about this at this time because in winter period, we don't have any cyclone. Let's see special so they say there is no warning for maritime ports that means uh, in winter time we don't need to follow this maybe we are interested in some other things mm, projected track historic historical cyclones let's see that this is a list of cyclones uh, from the date of occurrence so it started from 60 and you see the maximum wind sport. So this is a very good information. Uh, you can also see that. You can also see Cox's Bajar and other areas. So all of them things. So until 17, uh, you can also found Ruanu, then uh, Mora, Mahashen, Komen. Perhaps you heard this name before. Cedar in 2007, you see the maximum wind speed uh, what is the maximum wind speed from here two two to four in 70s this is two to four two to four in 1991 it is two to five kilometer per hour okay and in 2007 it is two to three so i, I i'll come back these things which is this is very interesting uh, during the dissemination so you can understand the wind speed direction of the maximum wind speed, tidal surges height, okay, and uh, central pressure. So central pressure, that means high pressure. 
So very information, good information in here. So from historical cyclones, you can know that. Okay. So if you wanted to know more than that, cyclone names, for example, uh, the, the, there are a couple of names in here uh, for Bangladesh. Okay. Uh, what would be the uh, what would be the names that are remain in here? Okay. Column one, column two, column three. So each of them. Um, for example, in case of Bangladesh, uh, Nishorgo, uh, India is Goti, Iran is uh, Nivar, Maldives is Burevi. So there are many, many names uh, which has been already been focused here so that the uh, so that the panel members uh, name all this listed for the country wise from where it has been started and how it will move. Okay. Uh, effective from 24 or 2004. So any of them started from ocean and come come to a come to a source, then you can find out these names. These are a couple of information. There are also some things you can also find out for regional forecast. Maybe it is not in here. It is no forecasting system. Maybe hydrological analysis. Let's see rainfall analysis. Let's see, rainfall analysis, what they say here. Um, so it is, it, is, it is quite a long time ago information, you see, 2019, a long time ago information, because that is a very special, special on that side maybe. Uh, let's see rainfall deviation maps. Rainfall deviation maps. Okay, fine. Uh, let's see what why it is. What does it mean? So, so the color variation they can say that see that you can see the deviation. Okay, so if our deviation this is one hundred, perhaps this is millimeter. Okay, deviation millimeter. Okay, uh, most of the areas in here. Here we get maximum amount of the rainfall and maybe in here, slate area deviation the, from the mean. And you can also have very dry area from this portion. So they can also give you the idea about the total condition of Bangladesh. Here are something you can also online data purchase. That means you can, although there is the page is not in here, but it may be you can also purchase some online uh, uh, data sets from online. Uh, maybe the earthquake, if you have recent earthquake information, do you have any? Let's see. You can get information from here. Yes, so this is one of them. This is the last one, uh, direction, everything is in here. This has been found um, five kilometers from the Mackenzie, Alaska. So it is, it is a different one, uh, different areas for Bangladesh, let's see. Mm. Okay. So now this is um, in, in last one is 31-8-2019. So distance from Dhaka, then latitude, longitude, mm -hmm. depth, uh, magnitude, how much in Richter scale. So everything is in here. So there are a couple of areas from where we can get the information. So from Dhaka, it is up to that area we can get the information. So this is actually quite a good, um, different segments in here if you wanted to know the signals they will say something about the signals uh, what about the meaning of the signals so if you if you see this one you can get information for example if you wanted to know what would be meaning by uh, five five signal number five so here is the explanation that if you're uh, if your um, uh, speed of the wind is 62 to 88 kilometer, then it could be under 
sorry, 62, 68 kilometer, and then um, how it will be moved in a particular directions. You can you can get you can you, you can you can understand this is the signal number five. So you can find out this information. So what I mean to be that Bangladesh Meteorological Department they have very very different sets of good information in here. But uh, according to my observation that uh, yes they are they are actually giving a lot of good information to the to the into the website. But uh, but for the general mass. It might be, it might be very uh, likely to see that there should have very, uh, very easy and well understood uh, by the general mass information should be presented in here so that the people could be interested. Uh, for example, who will gonna see this? And this is very important, inform important information. But who will gonna see this? Those people will see this who love to uh, love to know this and who have some uh, time to uh, read it and to make them understand. So that's why, that's why it is important to, uh, important to uh, know the ways how you can disseminate your knowledge to the people. Uh, and that's why, uh, although there are many, many good information in here, but, um, but people, but the general mass, Although in every sectors in Bangladesh, the people we are not actually uh, not follow the digitized uh, or digital uh, way to find out the information. Uh, uh, but some of the people, they are very much interested about to see that. So that's why uh, the website of BMD is, uh, from my view, it is a very good information sources. But uh, again, the information should be presented in a, in a very good manner so that uh, very uh, uh, very uh, uh, very easy to understand by the audience so that they can uh, they can be very uh, in, uh, interested to see each of the time what would be the condition in here so according to according to bangladesh uh, uh, bangladesh meteorological department uh, they uh, they give this information on the basis of different system of their analysis uh, we are going to discuss about that things so before that, uh, may I ask you, do you have any question regarding the weather forecast system of the BMD? We did not explain how they did that, but uh, did you, can you understand what is their responsibilities and how they disseminate this knowledge to the, uh, to the, to the general mass? Do you have any question regarding this? Can you hear me, all of you? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I think you have no question regarding the uh, meteorological organizations. Let's see how they disseminate their knowledge on, on early warning system because early warning system is very important rather than the forecast system in, in case of Bangladesh because Because most of the time, uh, Bangladesh is uh, very much impacted uh, due to different type of natural disasters, and those natural disasters uh, should be uh, well um, uh, well understood before, and uh, that should be uh, the people should be prepared before to uh, to um, manage their uh, life and properties. One such information is uh, very very. I, I would like to I'd like to uh, give you and 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 also very very good information for our cases for our country that in case of early learning system Bangladesh is uh, playing its role very nicely and throughout the world Bangladesh is one of the one of the uh, model to disseminate the early learning system to the uh, to the local mass. Uh, before I explain that, why Bangladesh is very, um, why I'm saying that, I'm just explain a little bit about that. Let's uh, see this information. If you count the total loss of the global cyclonic event, then you will see the maximum loss has been happened in Bangladesh. Uh, uh, nearly 85% loss has been happened. Although in Bay of Bengal, only we have 5% cyclones 
that has been evolved that means that has been uh, can, that can be uh, seen only 5% but the loss is 85% why because of our infrastructure because of our earlier loss because of our uh, 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 minimum preparation during different times but but why i said that bangladesh is a role model if you see this information in 1970 uh, the lives that has been lost in uh, during the cyclonic event is uh, it is 300000 3 lakh in 1991 cyclonic event 1 lakh 38000 138000 fine uh, you see that has been reduced from 70 to 1991 that has been reduced nearly half more than half and then cyclonic event in 1997 and 1998 is 127 and seven deaths respectively and 2007 by uh, by this uh, during the cedar that same number very very minimum but if you see the speed of the cyclone speed of the wind the speed are same in 1997 1970 that is 225 uh, 1991 that is also 225 nearly 225 and also during the cedar that is also nearly 225 so 20 to 25 so with the same amount of the speed of the of the cyclonic event but you see the life loss has been reduced greatly why why it has been reduced uh the answer is uh, many many different ways i can answer give you answer the the, the main I, i'll discuss that things how, how we improve but the main answer is Bangladesh improved a lot of um, in many ways in early warning system so that the loss has been minimized. Okay, and, uh, and as it is improved, that means definitely uh, we are saving our lives and also our property. Uh, weather forecasting, uh, weather weather forecasting, and uh, from the weather forecasting. Uh, cyclonic event or any disastrous event or any extreme event that uh, dealing of those things is quite different uh, because weather forecasting uh, is a challenge uh, a challenge for those organizations who wanted to who analyze the information and then give this information to the audience this is one thing another thing is how you can handle it how you can disseminate this knowledge to the general mass so that they can take their actions. This is important. So during the, during the, during those process, the people are, people should be aware, people should take decisions very quickly so that they can also, they can also uh, be um, in a good management system. <clears throat> now I'm going to dis dis uh, discuss why Bangladesh is uh, how Bangladesh has been improved. So first of all, uh, Bangladesh, uh, bang the process of uh, extreme weather management that has been now changed from the 1970s period. Um, before it was, it was um, chaired by the Ministry of Disaster and Management and Relief, or you can say Disaster Management Bureau of Bangladesh. So they were the, uh, uh, the, the responsible organizations who were dealing these kind of events. And then, then many of the things that has been found during the experience that when uh, disaster management bureau, they tried to solve any problem uh, due to many bureaucratic procedure, uh, they did not actually get help from the other organizations because some other organizations, they might have some rules and regulations and to follow that, um, the, the time has been lost. And during these time periods, many lives and property has been lost. Uh, to make it understanding, although the technology has been improved and Bangladesh, Bangladesh needs to purchase those information from other countries, maybe some satellite images and information from other things from the atmospheric, uh, many atmospheric phenomena from the other satellites. So after getting the information, how quickly you can take decisions, that would be the main challenge. 
So what Bangladesh do? They form a, a, a storm warning center. And this storm warning center is chaired by the uh, prime minister secretariat. That means based on prime minister secretariat. So what was the previous condition uh, now has been resolved because in these storm warning center, they included many, many different other organizations. Uh, for example, uh, TV, radio, uh, then uh, cyclone preparedness program, coastal volunteers, media, even different forces, defense and NGOs and flood forecasting warning center. So all of them that has been included in the secretariat. Now, any decision has been taken by the storm warning center uh, that is a decision of each of the organization. So now no need to give any instruction that BMD need that, so you should provide that. No need, because you are also the part of the warning center. So whatever the decision has been made here, that has been directly uh, imposed or directly started to react by the each of the organization. For example, in the, in the secretariat, it has been decided that there should be two ships by the side of the Bargona during these events. So Bangladesh Navy, uh, they don't need another, um, another uh, order from their chief or from other, 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 other ways uh, from their department because their chief has already been in the committee so that the committee uh, took the decisions and Navy, Navy reacted, uh, okay? So, that we can react, yes. So in, in many other ways, uh, medias or volunteers, they are not depending on the, on the, on the, on the different other uh, well, bureaucratic procedure to follow because, the, because their chief or their responsible person has been included already in, this, in, the, in the warning system. So previously, it has been requested to one department to another department and then that department react. Now it doesn't need it. So most of the cases, an important, uh, very, very important person is in the committee. Uh, as you can understand, Prime Minister Secretariat also included the peoples who from every organization who can take decisions. And from those people uh, when take the decisions, a certain, and in, in very short time, the, the each of the each of the or, uh, department or institute they react so this is the this is the most most important thing that has been uh, that has been done uh, by the bangladesh government first of all secondly secondly uh, many volunteer organizations such as red crescent society and other volunteer organizations we have a very large volunteer groups uh, uh, in, in, in all the coastal areas of Bangladesh. So when any, uh, any, any of the information that has been, uh, that has been come to the, uh, by the uh, BMD or, or to the media, so those organizations, uh, those volunteers, they, they play a significant role to make the people aware. With them, there are some local government personnel. They also do the miking and many other things also. So they do, to confirm, they confirm all the people should be in a place, a safe place, so that they cannot be impacted. And they try to make the people understand what is the situation of these cyclones at present context. Sometimes people, people say that uh, we heard this information before and nothing has been happened. So they don't want to leave their houses, but with the, with the sufficient amount of the information, these volunteers played a significant role. And thirdly, another important uh, thing is mm, throughout all of our coastal area in 1970s after, uh, sorry, in 1990s after um, 1970s and 90s, uh, after two big cyclonic event uh, uh, um, uh, after 90s, a committee has been formed by the government that what should be done by the Bangladesh because of the huge loss of life. Because in 1990, after 1991, it has been found that 1,38,000 people have been died. So, so the committee, they, they, they tried to find out the causes and then finally they recommend, uh, recommended that 
every area there should cyclone shelters so that people can take shelter there. But the, but there there was another problem at that time that uh, cyclonic event can be happen during during maybe five years period in a, in a, in a particular places or maybe in ten years period or maybe two years period. So who will gonna look after this cyclone shelter and uh, government needs much many monies and many uh, resources to uh, to ensure the services. So that committee also did a very uh, took a very good decisions that this cyclone shelter should be used for a primary school. And now you can see many cyclone shelter through the coastal areas that the uh, that the, uh, and the ground floor has been vacant, and then the first floor and second floor can be used as a cyclone shelter with some with some um, good uh, toilet facilities. Although the service is not good now, but uh, at the very first time the toilet should be uh, toilet should be there and there uh, there should be some uh, uh, tube well system so that the people can get the pure water and the and the and the and the tube well should be placed in a positions where the land is little bit high little bit high enough and these are the recommendation of that committee so what happened all over the coastal areas now we have cyclone shelters although although we need much more uh, because uh, because of the large density high amount of the density of our people we need much more but still that has been developed many ngos and government organizations and also Bangladesh government they 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 prepared or they established these cyclone shelters uh, from uh, from uh, after the recommendation of that committee, so these basically couple of things that uh, that triggered the um, the fine or very smooth dissemination system and well preparedness uh, of the uh, of the for the for the storm uh, or cyclonic events uh, of, of our country. Besides this, media also played a significant role. Now the people are much more aware about the uh, information, and most of the media of Bangladesh, they uh, as they as they know that the severity of uh, any any cyclonic events or any extreme events is very high. So what what they do, they try to try to give this give these informations in a regular basis if there is a condition arise. So media also played a significant role uh, so that the during last couple of years, the people could understand the uh, severity of the coming events and then the people can take their decisions. Besides this, Bangladesh government also uh, uh, give, uh, give uh, much of the importance uh, to the uh, relief works and provide the uh, information to the local governments so that the local governments they also uh, have now much more strength to to handle these sorts of matters so they involve the local elected uh, uh, leaders and they also involve these volunteers uh, and also the uh, the different uh, ngos and different uh, international organizations so that they can also they can also do their works hand to hand and each of the each of the areas each of the areas government also uh, also had subcommittee so that they can uh, they can meet after a certain period of time and they can took their decisions for example in case of bangladesh we have uh, village disaster management committee uh, then upojela disaster management committee and then also we have uh, district uh, uh, disaster management committee, and each one uh, includes those are the people who are much more aware and who are directly related to different kinds of um, different kinds of uh, disaster management activities. So these are a couple of important aspects that has been taken uh, that that decisions has been taken. Uh, by the Bangladesh government and non-government organizations together so that our early learning system is a, one of the best through, uh, throughout the world. So now you can understand with the same cyclonic 
uh, event that means the speed of the cyclone uh, same amount of the uh, same amount of the speed of the wind is still the on the life lost and property lost has been minimized a great uh, it, it's a great achievement for uh, early warning system and dissemination system okay uh, as as the full thing has been dependent on few information so information uh, information is much more important uh, if you wanted to say there is a cyclonic event come uh, will come uh, then the first question is how severe this cyclonic event is what would be the uh, path of their movement and then how can you also sure that when it will come so all these answers will remain on the analysis so how do we analyze that um, as i said before anything that will come in future that is dependent on models so models are the logics that is uh, dependent on the observed information so if you have observed information you give this data sets to the model and model will answer so now the question is why there are different models because because the logics are different because whatever the logics you are using now that might be suitable for this environment but it might not be suitable for other environment other environmental conditions maybe in case of bangladesh it is important that um, that what would be the um, what would be the wind flow what would be the wind flow during the summer season so model will answer you because in the summer season we have much more uh, wind flowing that is coming from the bay of bengal and during the winter period we have less amount of the wind flow that is coming from the uh, from the bay of bengal so now if you wanted to know the storm or the cyclonic events you must include those information in your model so so model will answer you if you give this information to the model not only one one information there are many many informations what would be the temperature condition what is the wind direction what is the humidity what is the sunshine level what is the wind pressure of particular place so many things you should have to give to the model so that the model can answer so so for a for a warning system tropical cyclone warning system we need to uh, uh, predict uh, prediction is is required to the basis of the location motion and wind field and also the they can also uh, they should know the storm surges from this type of uh, warning system dev sharma developed on model on the basis of uh, regression analysis and they uh, he uh, dev sharma uh, depended on two other models on his stp model 1994 and stper model 1998 and depending on that regression model uh, now bmd uh bnd produce some cyclonic prediction and they give it to the storm warning center so bmd uh, 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 at present context uses a couple of models such models uh, uh, these models are like this uh, they are normally they do such uh, information uh, to analyze and sometimes they also nowadays we also dependent much more analysis on satellite images so what they do they collect the images from real time images from different organizations throughout the world and they analyze it and they give it the answer to them uh, but the question is what would be the successful rate of this forecasting or how greatly we can do that well uh, this is again i should say it is dependent on your information where are you Uh, from where you get this information this is one another one is how uh, skillfully you analyze your results so that also dependent few of the peoples who are much more skillful on this uh, subject arena so that they can give you a good scenario in front of you uh, that's why 
uh, that's why it is much more dependent on the uh, resources, uh, resourceful person uh, in the organizations. So this is all about our weather forecasting uh, system in Bangladesh. And now the uh, floor is open. You can ask me any question regarding to this uh, lecture. Do you have any question? Can you hear me? Hello? Yes, sir. Okay. So, so if you do not have question, uh, then uh, I should uh, I should say this is my uh, this is all about uh, from my end. Maybe uh, your uh, uh, teacher, Dr. Shamol, uh, has already completed most of your parts. I guess. Did he finish his lecture? All of your lectures? No, sir. Still not finished, sir. Okay. So, how many how many lectures or chapters are remaining? Sir, one, sir. One chapter. Sir, dynamic meteorology, sir. Dynamic meteorology. Fine. So he will going to finish within a couple of classes. And then this is all about from our end. And maybe I will take uh, another class before your exam. Maybe a revision class, if you like. And then we're going to discuss about some of the uh, pattern of the questions that will come to the exam. And as I did, as we did not get any permission that we can take online uh, assessment. So uh, I'm not going to take any, um, from my end, I'm not going to take any uh, class test uh, from uh, in online. So what you can do, you can get prepared by yourself. And when we will be permitted from the authority or administrative body, then I will ask you what to do uh, or if that will not going to happen then maybe when the when everything will be open then i'll take two of your class test and shamal might take on one of them so that is all about from my end if you have any question if you have any anything sir are there any possibility of opening varsity in this month or february in january uh who knows <laughs> who knows the, that things uh in this month it will not gonna open that is final in january uh i i don't see any prospect to open in january uh, maybe after that we will we'll see the situation of the country and then government will take decision but what have the uh, some of the information has been taken by the universities different other universities also and our university also those those exam which is in the middle of the exam the uh, the varsity has been closed for example some of the semesters or years in different uh, departments and they have to they they, they took uh, two or three exams and now a couple of exams remain so maybe that exams can be taken by the by the certain departments for example in our cases we took the uh, uh general uh, viva and presentation of the eighth semester so their exam was, has been completed long long ago but only this uh, presentation remained so in the last week that has been completed so that can be possible but maybe not the new one so i can't answer your question very uh, in a very good uh, what confidence because we don't know actually. So if you have any other comments or any questions regarding our syllabus, regarding our lectures, then you can also ask me in the Google Classroom. You can also write there so that I can answer you. And whatever the information I provided you, please try to, uh, try to give a look on that. Uh, if you read it, you can understand, uh, and maybe maybe not all uh, all of them at a time, but you can also get uh, get a uh, some of the knowledge from there, and so that you can uh, make your preparation for the exam. And after that, if you if you cannot understand anything, you can ask me in in Google Classroom or 
maybe uh, maybe directly when it will be op it will be opened so until that uh, I, I i should have to leave okay so thank you all thank you all again for joining me your patience your un my uncertainties and your patience everything so thank you all for joining me in the in the in this class thanks thank you sir Salam